Hi guys, good morning to you. Um, this is our second lesson on clauses. Last time we were able to look at the definition and the introduction to clauses, and then we looked at the noun clause and the different functions they performed in the sentence. Today we are looking at adjectival and adverbial clauses. Okay, so in this lesson I would like that you should be able to you should still be able to differentiate between the main and subordinate clause and identify and give examples of adjectival and adverbial clauses in given exercises. And I would like that you should be able to create sentences using these clauses, showcasing their functions. Okay? And like I told you the last time, you need to learn how to use your clauses to become a better writer or a very good writer. Okay? Then, um, we looked at the definition of a clause the last time and for this class, we are going to look at the adjectival clause. An adjectival clause is a dependent clause, like we said last week, it's a, it's, a, it's a type of subordinate clause or a dependent clause that acts as an adjective. It acts as an adjective. It does everything an adjective does. It qualifies a noun, it qualifies a pronoun in a sentence. Now, now look at this sentence. The man who came here is the school principal. And I highlight, I've highlighted here, who came here is an adjectival clause. Now, how do we check for adjectival clauses? Remember, you must be able to remove an adjectival clause from the sentence and it will still make sense. It is very important, you know, how to do that. You remove and then, yet it will still make sense. Then that is an adjectival clause. Now, can we read the sentence without the adjectival clause? The man is the school principal. The adjectival clause is only telling us more about the man who is the school principal, not the other man who, who maybe is just a teacher in the school. So the man who came here is the school principal. Who came here as a final verb, giving us more information about the man, which is a noun, that is an adjectival clause. This is the house where the president lives. Where the president lives, is an adjectival clause. First, it has a finite verb. Then, it tells us more about the noun, house. A very good check for adjectival clauses, apart from the fact that you can remove it totally from the sentence, and the sentence still keeps all its meaning, is that it must, just, it must come just after the noun that it is qualifying. You see, house, noun, man, now, okay, let's go to the adverbial clause. It's a dependent clause too that acts as an adverb. Sorry, this should be an adverb. What does adverb do in a sentence? It tells us more about the verb. It modifies. Please, I want us to make sure we use these words in context. An adjective qualifies, an adverb modifies. This is why X syllabus is important you use the vocabulary that is specific for the syllabus. And an adverb modifies the verb. So in this sentence, he left this morning because he had a meeting. He left this morning. Why did he leave this morning? Because he had a meeting. That is adverbial clause. Of reason, the reason he left is not telling us more about morning because you can see that he's standing in the same position that the adjective that the type of clause is standing at. But it, this one tells us more about why he left and not when he left or morning. All right, it was raining when we highlighted, it was raining when we highlighted. You ask why, when. Did we, when was it raining? Then this answer, while it was raining. See, still making reference back to the verb. Is modifying the verb. So the function of an adject adjectival clause is that it qualifies a noun or a pronoun. But an adverbial clause 
modifies a verb or an adverb. Very important. I've given you so many tasks to help you to understand this in your Google Classroom document. Please check and do your task properly. Thank you and see you in the next class.